Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel again. Welcome back to another uh, FSR 3.1.4 frame generation video. Today we are taking a look at uh, Wu Chang Fallen Order, Fallen Feathers. Sorry. Uh, so this is a requested game, and yeah, the game is very heavy on the GPU. As you guys can already see, I'm getting only around 30 to 40 FPS. The setting right now I'm playing is on 1080p, and the advanced graphics is set on medium, like everything is on medium or high. Uh, so in this video i will only be showing the dlss frame generation part but you can still use the opti frame generation although i don't recommend it as the opti frame generation generates a little bit low fps than dlss frame generation around 5 to 7 fps so yeah if you are skeptical about uh, fps i do recommend using uh, dlss frame generation also uh, this game does have fsr frame generation in it like if i go to the setting uh, you can see here a frame generation option but that is only available when you are using the FSR upscaler because the frame generation is tied with the FSR upscaler so if you have an RTX card you cannot use the DLSS upscaler while using the FSR frame generation we will also fix that with the mod too uh, so yeah this is going to be very interesting video I will also be showing a little bit uh, tips and tricks to optimize the game's performance a uh, little bit more and gain some more fps so yeah let's start this video without any delay now all right so after quitting we will be needing this zip hojang dlss fg so we're gonna extract it on the desktop i have already tweaked and edited everything which is needed in order to make the mod work so you guys don't need to do anything extra only just uh, download the file extract the zip copy the files then go to the game's installation directory for me which is uh, here after that we're gonna go inside project plague then binaries then win64 and where the win64 shipping.tx is located we're gonna paste the mod right here after pasting you don't need to do anything because i have already done the what do you say uh, fg type to uh, new games fg type so all you guys need to do is download the mod, mod and paste it and also you guys need to make sure that that your graphics setting or the hacks is already turned on so you can run to the windows run menu then type in graphics setting and make sure that hags or hacks is already turned on if it's not on then turn it on and then restart your computer or else you will not be able to see the in-game dlss if you are on non-rtx gpu so yeah everything in the modding has been done now i will dive back in the game and i will show you guys how much fps we are getting and i will also show you the tips and tricks to gain some more fps with the frame generation get wu chang fallen feathers deluxe edition at just 149 rupees still waiting for ubi soft to drop the price then wait no more grab ac shadows at just 199 rupees all right so i am back inside the game again and uh, yeah as you guys can see fps is still around the same 30 to 40 so we need to go to setting right let me hide the msi after burn overlay so this is the setting option then we're gonna go to the advanced graphics and from the resolution scaling we need to select a dlss in order to get the frame generation option then enable it and by default you will be only be able to use the x2 mode uh, only the rtx 5000 series will be able to use the 3x or 4x mode uh, now after this setting uh, you will see that but let me bring up the opti fg also so now you guys can see fps has boosted to around uh, 60 65 but that's not it uh, if you want to gain some more fps you can tweak one to two setting in game and get some more fps so yeah go to setting again then advanced graphics and in here just reduce the shadow quality to low and the vegetation quality to low and then come back to the game again and you will see that you have gained like 10 to 15 fps like from 60 to 75 fps and without recording i was able to hit around maybe 80 85 fps so yeah only those two settings are very uh, what do you say demanding but one thing you need to make sure that the vegetation quality reducing the vegetation quality to low will make all the trees statics like you can see no leaves are uh, moving anywhere so when you change the vegetation quality to medium where is it there it is when you change the vegetation quality to medium you can see all the leaves of the trees are moving so yeah keep that in mind if you want a more immersive experience you don't need to uh, like disable the trees vegetation quality but yeah you will get some fps from it 
so yeah i guess this will be it for this video now if this helps you you can uh, like and subscribe the channel if you are facing any kind of issue feel free to comment down below and join discord for cheap games netflix subscription and everything and i'll see you guys in the next one so yeah until then cheers now